In this video, let's have a look into the Microsoft Azure integration with your Fedina instance. The first thing is you need to log into the Azure portal by navigating to portal.azure.com. Now this will be asking to enter the Microsoft email and the password here. So let's have a dem demo account and we can try integrating Azure with our Fedina instance. So I've entered the email ID and then I need to enter the password here and click on sign in now. You will be signed in now. And once you signed in, you need to create active directory and you need to find the client secret and the client ID by creating the active directory. So let's click on new and let's go for creating a new um, Azure Active Directory. You can search here Azure Active Directory. Now click on create here. Mention a name. I'll just mention Fedina here and a domain name you need to mention here in order to set up this in Fedina. So we have uh, I'm just mentioning Fedina Azure. So now you can see if it is valid, it will be giving a green color. Now it is not valid. It's invalid. So then I'm just giving Azure SSO. Now we can check and you can see it is valid now. So you choose your country from this drop down list and now click on create. So the directory has been created here and you can click this option to go to your directory that has been created right now. So this will show the dashboard now. So this is the dashboard of Fedina Active Directory we have created. Now click on app registration. As you can see here, click on that. Click on new application registration. Now mention the application name again. I'll just mention here Fedina. Now you can choose web application or API from here since Fedina is a web application. Now you need to mention the sign on URL into which account you want to integrate Azure uh, configuration. So I'm just giving here. So you should follow this format HTTP double slash and then your Fedina instance name. So I'm mentioning my instance name here. And it should be followed by a slash again and the keyword called Azure. And again, one more slash. And then you need to mention Azure underscore AD underscore authenticate. Now you can just click on create over here. The application will be created and you can see this is the application we have added in our active directory. Click on the application and the next step is to copy the application ID. So this is the application ID you can see here and click on this. Now you can log into your accounts panel by using the credentials. Then navigate to admin company option here. Click on plugin settings and click on Azure Oath. So here you can see we need to enter the client key, client secret, a tenant and a resource over here. And the one we have generated now, which is the application ID is nothing but the client key. Copy that and paste it over here. The next thing is client secret. In order to generate the client secret, you need to go back to the dashboard of your active directory and just click on keys. So here you need to generate generate a key. Just enter a name here. I'm entering a name and the duration of validity uh, expiration duration for this particular key you need to choose from here. So now click on save. You will get a key over here, which is the client secret and copy this. Come back to your accounts panel, paste it over here. And the next thing is tenant tenant is nothing but the first domain name that you have given during the active directory creation, you will get it from here. You can see Fedina Azure SSO dot on Microsoft.com. So it should be uh, entering with utmost care because the spelling should be the same what you have entered during the active directory creation. So I'm just entering Fedina Azure SSO dot on Microsoft.com. So Fedina Azure SSO dot on Microsoft.com. 
and resource you can enter here https graph.windows.net and save it now the azure configuration has been completed we can uh, log into our fedina instance so i am just logging into my account by using microsoft credential so just click on sign in using microsoft here now it will ask to enter a username if you have not logged in but we have currently logged into our microsoft account so by default it will be redirected to the fedina dashboard as you can see on the screen so we have currently logged in using our microsoft credentials so we can check by going to the profile so this is the account email account that i've used for uh, logging in using my uh, microsoft azure few things that you need to take here during the setup is to have your email id should be registered with fedina then only you can log in to your fedina account without fail outside access is not allowed so that your profile should be having under your account and you should enter your microsoft credential in the email column that we have mentioned another thing that you need to um, take care is to enable azure sso under general settings go to settings general settings and you can scroll down you will be getting an option of enable azure sso if i am disabling this i cannot use microsoft credential to uh, log into the fedina instance that's it about microsoft azure integration with fedina thank you for watching this video be tuned for more videos